Hello everyone and welcome to the top 10 healers on Bleach Brave Souls. For this list I'll be focusing on characters who have the ability to heal themselves or their team members in the middle of a mission. Before I begin I should note that while character stats did have some influence on where some of these characters placed on the list, the main focus was on the individual character's ability to heal. Let's begin. Starting off the list, we have Yachiru Valentine's Day Edition. This character is actually one of the few original seasonal characters who's still useful in the raid. Her stats may not be that impressive, but she is a ranged character, not to mention a team healer. Unfortunately, she doesn't get the ability to be a team healer until she gets 6 star and you unlock Medic. That said, her soul trait really isn't all that rare. But being honest, the only reason she's really on this list is because she's ranged and healing. At number 9 we have another Valentine's Day character. This time it's Valentine's Day Momo. Now if the description for this character sounds familiar it's because it is. Like Yachiru she came out on the same gacha. She's also ranged. They have very similar stats although hers are slightly better. And she's also team healer but again only at 6 star as she unlocks medic as one of her abilities. Overall she's just a slightly better version of Yachiru. Her stats are better and her soul trait is more useful. Up next we have Ukiyora White Day version. Now this character is a bit unique because he's the only one on this list who is not a team healer. But since this list is a list of healers and he is technically a healer, I just had to put him on here. PvP is still a big part of this game. And while we don't see him often because there's so many characters, this Ukiyor is actually very good in PvP. His stats are great and his link lets you stack damage reduction. Combine that with the fact that he's a healer and you've got a pretty good tank on your hands. This combination also makes him really good in PvE. Really the only reason he didn't make it so much higher on this list is because he's not a team healer. Next we have Orihime Halloween Edition, who like many other characters on this list, only is a team healer after she gets the medic ability at 6 star. Which is a shame considering her stats aren't that great. Seriously, even Yachiru has better stats. Not to mention she's not a ranged character. So why is it that this character plays higher on the list? It's because of her soul trait. She has a boosted recovery of 25%. This is really useful for her as a character and makes her a really valuable link. At number 6 we have the original Tech Retsu, who is one of very few original characters who is actually still relevant in the game. Because there were so few characters, I feel k felt the necessity to boost her stats when they made her 6 star. They also gave her a medic ability at 6 star, which this character really needed considering she's a self healer up until she gets medic. She also has a very useful link, being able to recover 20% of stamina upon entering new areas. And if that weren't enough, she's also got a healing special, which heals 60% of her team's health. This character's kind of a triple healer. Up next we have the original lifesaver, the now Paracel edition. Unlike the other characters on this list so far, this character did not need to be 6 star to be a team healer. This made her really useful even as a 5 star. And when she finally did make it to 6 star, they gave her one of the best SPs in the game making her even better. But what really makes this character great is the fact that her link is strong attack recharge reduction. Which if you stack it, can really improve her usefulness as a healer. Yeah. So, soro soro up next we have Tsukishima, who is another character who can heal at 5 star. And while he may not be ranged, he does have one of the highest SPs in the game, which is not wasted on this character at all, considering he was the first one to be able to do damage with his healing move. 
and with a decent build, you can actually get upward to 10,000 damage on his healing move. That shouldn't be a thing. <laughs> At number 3, we have a character who keeps popping up on these lists for some reason. She, like many other characters on this list, also gets the ability of Medic when she hits 6 star. And she's one of the newer characters which means her healing move also does damage. To top it off, she's also got a healing soul trait, which lets her or anybody she's equipped to heal 20% of their health upon entering a new area. Also guys, she's got an inflatable shark. That counts for so much. At number 2 we have Asane, who is a good ranged character and a healer, a very good combination. And like Tsukushima and Nemu, she's also got a healing move that does damage. She also has the ability to make me sound like a broken record, because she also gets medic at 6 star. She's got pretty decent stats, but what makes her stand out is her soul trait. She gets a boosted 25% recovery for herself or anybody she's equipped to when entering new areas. Overall, she's a great character to have in your party or as a link. Coming in at number 1 is the mind version of Retsu. She's got really good, well-balanced stats, as well as really good strong attacks, one of which is a healing move that does damage. But what really makes her the number one character on this list is her recharge time reduction soul trait. While having a healing soul trait is nice, this soul trait is the best soul trait a healer can have. And if you stack it high enough on this character, you can cut the waiting time for healing over half, letting you be able to both heal and do damage every 15 seconds or so with that strong attack too. Okay, that really did a good job remaking this character. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this list, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel, and let me know what top 10 video you'd like to see next.